of us know of the Lowell's cows that are hebophiles? I'm just going to say hebophiles, hebophile. That's actually hebophile. That just, I just divide it um, pre-pubrescent and pubescent. Um, those words are hard for me to pronounce, but anyway, I'll give it a good try. This is not a funny video. This is not, ha, 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 look at this moron say this and do this this is a serious video and i'm going to cover a very serious situation that happened quite recently but first i'm going to talk about some of the lowell's cows that are hebophiles we all know this face this is none other than cyrex shadow blade chase wilkins uh, Chance Wilkins, whatever. Um, this guy sends dick pics to minors all the time. He's too stupid to get one, thank goodness. And But uh, he is definitely a hebophile and well-known. This here is Von Helton. James Paul Von Helton. Irv Eugene Helton. Um... He's also well known the the Kelly videos, which dropped around 2013, I think, and but he's been caught other times, just not as well caught during that incident. He's always trying to get underage girls. Um, even recently, uh, he fails every time because he's a delusional quack. But thank God for that. And this is Elvis Travels, a Zaya Marshall Camus, who picked up a 14 year old boy live on the internet to have sex with the boy came in the trailer went straight for the bed in the back and then came up front when he coaxed because he was doing this live he did he didn't even think there was anything wrong with it i guess because it wasn't a female's okay to have sex with an underage boy um this guy is a homophobe and denies his uh, homosexuality we know about the lowell's cow hebophiles they're easy to spot we make fun of them we call them out on it. But what if one of these uh, hebophiles was part of our community? It's happened to other communities. And this especially goes out to the communities I, I feel I'm a member of. Um, Rabbit Old Bat, Carries, and um, TJs. Now those guys are fun. I love watching their shows. I wish I could watch TJ's more. And Carrie's, I miss a lot of hers because I'm out working. Occasionally, I catch catch their their, um, their programs, their podcasts, or whatever you call them. And I'm a mod in all three of those. And I, I feel honored. I feel honored and, and uh, respected for that. And I don't want to lose that respect. Uh, to me, I don't have time to... You know, I'm not in every time they're doing a uh, a video, a live, so I don't get to, you know, really moderate. And But I'm not going to abuse that power. I'm not going to abuse the fact that they honored me and trusted me enough to give me a mod. And I hold that dear to me, and I, I want to keep that trust. That's important to me. But what if one of them, what if one of your mods was abusing the power in a way that you know threatened people i will block you from this community if you don't do as i tell you if you don't agree with what i have this is a person damon the rocks or something i got his name down here it'll be scrolling up probably anyway that guy he was part of the underhaven community he was part of a drunken peasants and he was using his mod powers to uh, manipulate, and especially minors, into doing what he wanted. He sent dick pics to multiple people and even had sex with a minor, 16-year-old, I believe. But you'll hear the evidence here in a minute. So let me play that evidence. This is this guy. He has, goes under multiple uh, names over the years. I don't know if he's still around, but he, has, he was around in 2020 for sure. So let's just uh, listen to this confession. Is it, it were there was there and it's any of what they just said? Is there any truth to it? Yeah, 
Yes, but okay. it happened quite a while ago, and they're clearly Last just taking month. this back. Okay, they're so there's just taking this back up. To fuck. The graphics that you are seeing are the hebophilic and predatory actions of Damon, formerly Fancy Badger, now Underhaven's Animancer, and probably some of the worst kept secrets in the whole drunken peasants, deep fat fried affiliated community. Abusing his moderator position to form a harem of victims, extorting nudes from them, emotionally abusing them, using suicide threats to coerce them into silence. As far as I know, none of this has ever been publicly addressed in any meaningful way, and I've tried to have it addressed on a couple of occasions. What I suspect, thanks to privileged conversations I had while doing Pull the Trigger, is that there are contractual agreements preventing it from being addressed by some people. But I think it's clear that these actions led to Animancer being fired from Discord moderator and YouTube pr producer positions on at least a couple of occasions. And you would think at that point Damon would learn to keep his disgusting urges in check. But as recently as a few months ago, I've had victims contact me complaining about receiving unsolicited dick pics. And I know for a fact that this underage girl Kivel and this person Kosi in Underhaven's Discord, of which Sweta gave Damon the position of sole unchecked moderator from what he told me, this person Kivel and Kosi are the same person who just graduated high school this year, 2020. It just seems to me that no amount of private professional termination is going to get this beta male to control his abusive tendencies. Now, as you can see, he confessed to having sex, but it, it was a while ago, so it's all right. What I know about hebophiles and pedophiles and all that, they don't change. I don't think they can be rehabilitated. And I've heard this from in documentaries of, of pedophiles that said, they have to live in certain places where there's no children because they can't control their urges. They're out of prison. There's a city in Florida, a small town, that's all it is is those kind of people, those pedos, those PDF files. There's actually a town in Florida, South Florida, out in the Everglades area, where, where they built a, a little town for those kind of people to live away from those temptations because they know they can't be cured. So this guy, this Damon guy, he still desires that. He's still going to try. He's still going to try to manipulate young people to, for his uh, sexual desire. So, Carrie, TJ, Rabbit Old Bat, anybody else, Geek Room, any uh, secular opinion, anybody has a community, needs to keep an eye on their people. Needs to make sure that their mods are people they can trust. And if you need to vet them, vet them. Uh, because they'll abuse, abuse their mod powers. Oh, I'll, I'll block you from this community. People, there are people who would be devastated, especially young people. In Cary or any of these communities that was somebody, mod was doing that, they would, they would uh, shut up and let whatever ha abuse happen because they don't want to be ostracized from that community. And that's what this guy does. Is he still around? I don't know, because I don't even know the person. I ever heard of a friend of mine who's part of a community uh, told me about this and wanted me to make this video, and that's why I'm making it. Here's the confession of one of the girls that he uh, manipulated and abused and used. The graphics that you are seeing are the hebophilic and predatory actions of Damon, formerly Fancy Badger, now Underhaven's Animancer, and probably some of the worst-kept secrets in the whole drunken peasant's deep fat fried affiliated community abusing his moderator position to form a harem of victims extorting nudes from them emotionally abusing them using suicide threats to coerce them into silence as far as i know none of this has ever been publicly addressed in any meaningful way and i've tried to have it addressed on a couple of occasions what i suspect thanks to privileged conversations i had while doing pull the trigger is that there are contractual agreements preventing it from being addressed by some people. But I think it's clear that these actions led to Animancer being fired from Discord moderator and YouTube pr producer positions on at least a couple of occasions. And you would think at that point Damon would learn to keep his disgusting urges in check. But as recently as a few months ago, I've had victims contact me complaining about receiving unsolicited dick pics. 
and I know for a fact that this underage girl Kivel and this person Kosi in Underhaven's Discord, of which Sweta gave Damon the position of sole unchecked moderator from what he told me, this person Kivel and Kosi are the same person who just graduated high school this year, 2020. It just seems to me that no amount of private professional termination is going to get this beta male to control his abusive tendencies. So that's quite a bit of information there. That he did confess to um, molesting a minor or raping a minor. Because if you're, you know, if you're of age, adult age, and, and you're having sex with a minor, that's considered rape. That's statutory rape. That's sexual assault. That is wrong. That is taboo and sick. And he uses predatory behavior, which means he is a uh, child predator. And here's a confession from one of his victims. That is good. You, did you, you said about it. Uh, yes, I can confirm that me, myself, and I, me, Coast Kibble, and all that shit, we're all the same person. I didn't ever tell him that because I didn't want him to know and show up in where I was going to be going to school. Um, me living in it is already public information, I know, because I've told people. But I didn't expect where I'm going to go to university being posted ever, because I didn't expect my bio to be public. And also, I know the validity of the screenshots that you have posted, because I took them. I was the one that shared those. I was the one that took it, because, you know, guess what? Uh... You know, I wasn't that friendly with Damon three years ago, and I'm still not that friendly now. Is there anything in my video that's inaccurate that I, or anything like that? Um, I mean, no, yeah, no, like your video is pretty accurate. The screenshots are accurate because I was the one that kind of provided them to the internet. Uh, what you said at the ending, though, about him just now talking to other girls, I can't verify if that's true because I haven't talked to like Damon consistently. Yeah, so I can't verify if any. Like, he's done this to other girls in, like, the recent history of, like, a few months. But I know he did, like, talk to me and Harley and Di, if you remember who she is. I was the original. Like, everyone knows that. I've been, when when DP was still a DP, I was a part of, like, the DP Wiki since, yeah, like, I've not since 2016. So I was in, like, maybe the eighth grade at the time. He even had the screenshot of me saying that I was 16 because that's the truth. That's how old I was at the time. Uh, everyone already knew that I was a minor. Like, that's public information. So in conclusion, if you have a community and you, you have a channel that does lives and you have mods in your community, make sure that nobody's abusing those mods. We all know Sabella did. She wasn't trying to get sexual favors from minors. But, uh, you know, you have to keep an eye on your moderators. That's part of your responsibility for having a channel. It's not easy to do, I'm sure. Um, but it could bring your channel down because, you know, you're the face of your channel. Uh, Rabbit old bat, Carrie, and TJ. I'm speaking to specifically because I'm part of those communities. Um, so... This was not a funny video, but I hope you guys learned something. And I hope that uh, people are more mindful. Other mods are more mindful of what's going on. And if it, if you happen to be one of the victims, Rabbit Old Bat, Carrie, and TJ, if they if you reach out to them, they'll listen to you. If, you, if somebody is abusing you in one of these rooms, uh, one of these uh, channels, Speak up. That's the only way it can stop. Because if they're doing it to you, they're doing it to someone else too. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow.